You were debating Senator Gillibrand, and you talked about uh, food stamps. She wanted to uh, reinstate some money into the food stamp, uh, the, the farm bill, and you wanted it uh, cut. Uh, do you think that's food stamps? And that program should be on the table in terms of where you could try to save money? Oh, absolutely. Every part of the government needs to be available for improvement. Uh, what we found was that in the Budget Control Act and the sequester, there was no cuts, not a dime, or reduced in the food stamp spending, which has gone up four times. One in six Americans are now receiving food stamps. It's going up. This month was a record increase in food stamp participation at a time when unemployment is declining. So what we want to do is to look at this program and to identify how we can move people from dependency to independence uh, to help them uh, achieve uh, the kind of income level that can sustain their family and, and their independence. But there are people who'd say if, you, if you're doing cuts, you invariably hurt people who need food and who are on food stamps so that they can well, buy supplemental food. I mean, it, it, it's 61 percent of households in your state uh, have, have children who are recipients of, of the food program that they're on. So, Dad, this program has been growing out of control at an incredible rate, and there are a lot of people receiving benefits that do not qualify and should not receive them. And, but the focus of our government program should be, as always in America, to help people in need. No child, no person who needs food should be denied that food. But it, nobody proposes that, but we're talking about uh, an amendment that I offered that would have reduced and closed a loophole uh, of $8 billion when we would spend $800 billion uh, was opposed by saying it would, it, would, it would help leave people hungry in America, but it would have only eliminated abuses in the program. But you, so we but, just need but, to, but the, it surely program, has to though, have some change. But on those two fronts, let me just stop you there for a second. You say it's growing <clears throat> out of control. You voted, in fact, right, in 2002 and in 2008 to, to grow the program yourself, uh, I think first under President Bush in 2002. And then when it comes to fraud, this pro, this, um, a seven, Center on Budget and Policy Priorities says SNAP has one of the most rigorous quality control systems of any public benefit program in recent years has received its lowest error rates on record. I mean, people highlight the program as actually not having a lot of fraud, that most people who are on it are not somehow working the system. They're just hungry people. That's not accurate. Uh, what they're doing is they're counting the computer system fraud error rate, but they're not out counting the, the real people who are filing false or incomes or haven't reported changes in their income. But again, we want to be sure that people who are in need get that need. Americans always believe in that. We're not trying to deny people need, but surely one would not contend that a program that has gone up fourfold in 10 years and had the biggest increase ever just this month at a time when unemployment dropped uh, doesn't need some review uh, and, and to be made better. When they Fundam look at the people in your state, whole... though, the people in your state, it's something like 67 percent of the people in your state, and well, for the nation, it's one in six people on food stamps. In, in your one state, in it's six. one in five. In your state, one in five. So 20 percent of your constituents are on food stamps, and they look at the people who are actually eligible. It's something like under 70 percent who are eligible who sign up. So it, I think the problem could be in the reverse, that not as many people who could get food stamps are on it. Well, we'd like, you'd like to have more, uh, well, the Department of Agriculture said if you give more food stamps out, it, it helps the economy uh, when we borrow the money to send it out. That obviously cannot be so. Look, we want to be sure that people who need it get that aid. I guess my uh, question is this. Five, do, I, I hear you. Do you, I, I get your do you think there's no problem with the program? I'm you think not an elected it's official, so well I have run? no idea. I guess my question would be when you're thinking of things to cut, right? People basically say, why are you trying to balance the budget on people who are making under $23,000 a year. I think that range roughly is the national average for what a family of four would, uh, would get on food stamps. So why not cut something else? There are other things uh, that could be on the table before you, you pick a program that is feeding the nation's poor children. I mean, I don't think I'm not picking a program. I say all programs need to be examined in this government. This government is wasting money every day. There is no doubt about that. And we've got to do better. And food stamps is a program that was totally exempted from any oversight and change. 
when it has gone up four times in the last 10 years in the amount we spend. Two of it's those times fastest, you voted for it. It's the fastest so 2002 growing program and 2008, of all. You voted for it, right? So you voted for it. And some people would we say voted, it's I've growing voted because for the ag people bill are hurting. That had that in it.